Hi, in this video on mathematical economics series, we will try to optimize the given uh, utility function uh, subject to the budget constraint that is given here. Now the question is, maximize utility that is u is equal to x into y, y, y x and y are the two goods with budget constraint x plus 4 y is equal to 120. So we have an optimization problem where we are given a utility function and the constraint function. So we have to uh, maximize this function with certain constraint. Here constraint is x plus 4y must be equal to 120. So how will we maximize this? So for that we will use the Lagrange's multiplier method. Now first of all I will write this utility function that is u is equal to x into y. So this is our objective function. So this uh, utility function is also called the objective function. Now after that, I will write the constraint function that is x plus 4y is equal to 120. This is our objective function and this is constraint. constraint. Now, first of all, the first step uh, in optimizing uh, the given function is we will set this constraint equal to zero. So we will set this equal to zero. So this will become, or I will write this like set constraint equal to zero. That means 120 minus x minus 4y is equal to zero. Now, after that, I will multiply this constraint with lambda. So multiplying it by lambda. So the term will become like, I will write this lambda times 120 minus x minus 4y. Now, after that, we have to form the Langridge's function. For that, I will, I will add this constraint with the given utility function to form the Lagrange's function. So, add, adding it with, with the utility, uh, that is the objective function to form, to form Lagrange's, lang, sorry, here it is. Langridge's function. So I will write L means the Langridge's function is equal to and that is objective function that is uh, x into y plus this constraint. So I will add these two terms to form the Langridge's constraint. So this is our objective function is x into y plus now I will add this term with this. So this is lambda into 120 minus x minus 4 y. Now this is our Langridge's function. Now to get the optimal value of x, y and lambda, I have to or we have to partially differentiate this Langridge's function with respect to x, y and lambda and set them equal to 0 to get the optimal values of x, y and lambda. So I will write here partially partially differentiate L with respect to x, y and lambda and set them, set them equal to, equal to zero. Now, I will differentiate this Langridge's function with respect to x, y, and lambda to get the values of these variables. Now, L of x. Now, this L of x means partially differentiating this equation with respect to x. So, this will become, now here, x into y, the derivative of x is 1. So, here it is, y plus. Now, here, lambda into 120 so no y uh, x is um, here so it will become zero now lambda into minus x lambda into minus x it is here uh, minus x lambda its derivative is 
minus lambda here. So I will write here minus lambda. Now lambda into 4 into y. So no y x is uh, involved here. So it is derivative is 0. Now I will set this equation equal to 0. Or this will become y is equal to. Now transposing uh, this to RHS, this will become plus lambda. Let the equation first. Similarly, I will differentiate this with respect to y. Now, L of y minus partially differentiating this uh, leg register function with respect to y. So, this will become here x into i uh, y. Now, the derivative of y is 1. So, here it is x plus. Now, here lambda into 120. No y involved. So, it is 0 plus. Uh, lambda into minus x, no y involved, so the derivative is 0, and lambda into minus 4 into y. Now this will become minus 4y lambda, minus 4y lambda. Now the derivative of this with respect to y is minus 4 lambda, so I will write minus 4 lambda and set it equal to 0. Now solving this will become x is equal to transposing this to RHS will make it plus 4 lambda. Now let this be equation second. Now in the same way we have to differentiate this equation with respect to lambda partially. That is obvious. Now L of lambda is equal to. Now differentiating this with respect to um, lambda minus here x into y no Lambda is an, uh, available here, so its uh, derivative is 0. Now, lambda into 120 will become 120. Now, lambda into minus x, so this will become minus x. And lambda into minus 4y, so this will become minus 4y. That is the equation third. Now, to get the value of x and y, uh, here we will uh, divide equation uh, 2 by 1, or I will write, so I will write here this, dividing equation first and second. So this will become y over x, implies y over x is equal to now lambda into sorry lambda divided by 4 lambda that is lambda over 4 lambda now lambda lambda will cancel out this will become 1 over 1 over 4 now this is y over x is equal to 1 over 4 implies 4y or x is equal to x is equal to 4y now I will put the value of x is equal to 4y in uh, the third equation to get the value of y. So I will put x is equal to 4y in equation third. Now I will put this here in this equation. So this will become 120 minus. Now the value of x is 4y. So I will write 4 y and here is minus 4y minus 4y is equal to sorry here it is uh, i have to set it equal to zero so this is here uh, zero so this will become zero or i will write 8 y is equal to 120 or y is equal to 120 over 8 so this will be 8 one is r and this will add so y is equal to 15. Now y is equal to 15. We have to find the value of x. Now I can put the value of y here or in this equation to get the value of x. So I will put uh, this here. Therefore put um, y is equal to 15 in uh, this equation. Let this be something 
uh, it is 4 here, let this be equation 4 in 4. So this will become x is equal to now 4 into y, this is 4 into 15 is equal to 60. So x is equal to 60. Now, now we have got the value of x and y, we have to find the uh, value of lambda. Now to get the value of lambda, we have to see in which equation the lambda is available. So I will put the value of um, a value of um, x or y or both in either of the two equations. So I will put in this equation. Now put put y is equal to fifteen in equation equation first. Now this is our. This is our um, first equation, so I will write here. This will become y in place of y. I will write 15 is equal to lambda. So the value of lambda is 15. Now I have got the value of x, y, and lambda. These are the optimal values of the variables which we have calculated here. Now, what does this lambda mean? Lambda is equal to 15. What does this signify? Now this lambda tells us, this lambda tells us if there is incremental change, one unit change in the constant of the constraint. This is the constant of this constraint. If the, or I can say, if the budget increases by unit, one unit, this objective uh, function will increase by 15 units. Or I can say, if there is my, uh, so one unit uh, change in the constant of the constraint, the objective function will change by 15 units. So I will write uh, this uh, uh, lambda is equal to 15 implies if budget increases increases by one unit. objective function objective function will increase by increase by 15 units unit so we have seen here that this lambda signifies the incremental change in the um, objective function given one unit change in the constant of the constraint or this is also known as the marginal utility of money when uh, I can say marginal utility of money when x is equal to where is our x now when x is equal to 60 and y is equal to 50 the marginal utility of money at that time is 50 now this Lagrange's multiplier is also called the shadow price okay hope you enjoy the video thank you so please subscribe to our youtube channel econ maths for more videos on mathematical economics. Also comment and share. Thank you.